Hi guys, what's up? I am back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Okay, this one's gonna be about should Joe Gibbs Racing expand their ARCA team. Right now, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing has his grandson, I believe, Ty Gibbs, in his ARCA program. Um, the question being asked here is, like, should he, like, go full-time in ARCA and just, like, have development drivers in there and just, like, that kind of stuff? Should he do that? Some may answer yes, some may answer no. What's going on in the world right now, I'm not going to mention a lot of it, but, um, money may be tight with JGR. Uh, they are definitely winning races. They have always been a dominant team, pretty much. They... Except for that 18 car, the 18 car has definitely slumped this year. Nobody knows why, but the 11 car has actually kind of picked up the slack from the 18 car, so I believe that they're still in good standing with everything. So, uh, should they uh, expand their ARCA team? Um, in their ARCA, they have Ty Gibbs as their driver in the 18 car. He uh, currently has one victory in the Arkham Nerd series right now. Maybe they could expand to a few more cars and get more wins. So there's definitely opportunity there for them to only kind of like expand their stable, maybe expand the Toyota ra racing development, um, you know, stable there and kind of get more drivers in and get more drivers, get more talent, that kind of stuff. So. That could be a plus when they're, if they choose to expand the ARCA program into a full time. Um, and when Ty gets moves on, will they close the ARCA program? Uh, I think that they should. I think that maybe they should like, keep at least that car open to put more drivers in, get more experience and talent and that kind of stuff, you know? Just basically, it's all pluses. If you can afford to keep the car open, I say keep it open. There's really nothing to lose other than races there, because if you have a good some generational generational talent come in, then okay, you have a spot for him. You can kind of develop that generational talent to kind of have a Jeff Gordon or kind of those kinds of drivers, and you can keep him in that car as long as you feel fit. Or maybe he goes on to another race team and you kind of lose him, but then you can also like, if the guy's not doing his job in that car, you can boot him, put another guy in there, and go that way. So I think that maybe they should keep that as their lowest series. Right now, technically, their, low, their lowest series is Xfinity, but they have some, I believe that they do a lot of, like, work with um, Kyle Busch Motorsports and the Trek series. So you kind of make the comparison there of, oh, that's basically their Trek series team. And also, with the truck series, here's an interesting thing. If they move Ty Gibbs up, they don't have to lose anybody in the truck series. They don't, um, if they, if Kyle Busch wants to open a fifth car, sixth car, seventh car, eighth car, full-time or part-time, he can't. There's no four-car rule in that series. So he can open as many cars as he wants, um, and make those spots and make spots for those drivers that are moving on up and like are way too good for the Xfinity and the, like aren't good enough for the Xfinity series but also are too good for ARC. That's an interesting thought. Maybe he goes that way, maybe he doesn't. It's not really my call, it's kind of the Gibson and Kyle Bush call. But this is an interesting subject. There's a lot maybe to think about here for Gibbs. When Ty Gibbs moves on, does he keep that open? I say he should, like I keep mentioning. I say he definitely should keep that open. A lot of positives come, maybe some negatives come, because if they can't find sponsorship, or, uh, or you know, it costs too much to run that, which I don't believe that maybe Gibbs is in that much financial trouble right now. I think that they're set right now. Hamilton is winning. They have four really competitive cars, and... Mon on the Cup Series, not Monster Series anymore. Um, they have very competitive cars in the Xfinity Series. They have Bush, basically, Bush Motorsports in there in the Truck Series. They have a very competitive stable. They have very competitive cars that are keep winning, keep getting the money. So, if they can afford, and that's not accounting for like merchandise sales and that kind of stuff, that can feed into that. And you, 
you'd also be getting probably the merchandise sales from the ARCA team too. So there's a lot of pluses. There's some negatives, but I want to hear your thoughts. I want to debate it in the comments, but please be nice, keep it civil. If it's, you know, get that hand, I'll say something, and if it still goes on, I will delete the comment entirely. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.